All right, let's tackle the example questions for special right triangles, uh, the 45-45-90 triangle. These actually are probably among the easiest examples so far in the entire text. Um, all you have to do is remember that if you have a right triangle, an isosceles right triangle, that whatever the relationship, that the relationship of the three sides is always the same. Whatever these two are, this side up here is that same thing, roots of two. So, for our example here, we have our two legs are six. We have one of them is marked as six, and the other one is obviously the same because the two sides here each have one hash mark. So that means this side over here is also six. So the hypotenuse of that triangle then is six squared to two, <laughs> and that's it. So let's take a look at example B. Example B, we have nine square roots of two is one of our sides right here. So that means that the other side since these two angles here are the same, this is an isosceles right triangle. That means that this side over here is the same as the other one, so it's nine roots of two. And the missing side down here would be nine roots of two, roots of two. Well, anytime you have a root times itself, it's the same thing as saying the root squared and anytime you have a root and a square inside of each other, they cancel out. So we end up with 9 times 2, or 18. So our missing side down here is 18 units. And then for example C. Example C, we have a square with a diagonal whose length is 10. And we want the lengths of the sides. Well, obviously what we have right here is an isosceles right triangle, right? These two sides are going to be the same if that's a square. And then our 10 unit side represents the diagonal of that isosceles right triangle. So since we have x, x, and x roots of 2, in order to find out what one of these two other sides is, we just have to take the dimension we have and divide it by the root of 2, right? So we have 10 divided by the square root of 2. Now in a prior lesson we talked about simplifying these, so all we have to do is just multiply top and bottom by root of 2. So our root of 2 is squared. Anytime we have a squared square root, just like in the last example, the root cancels. We end up with just over 2. And on top we have 10 times the root of 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So these cancel. And our answer ends up being 5 square roots of 2. And that is all she wrote.